This is amazing. Now we have LM Studio alternative. You can run any large language model locally on your computer. You have a chat interface like this. You also have API endpoint, which is open AI compatible. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Jan.ai. It's bringing AI to your desktop. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this and also integrate with its API. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. To download Jan.ai, go to Jan.ai website and you can see the download button in the homepage. You have multiple version, version for Mac, version for Windows and version for Linux. Once after you download, you can just install it. After installing, you will have an interface like this. There is a hub on the left hand side. Click that and then you should be able to see all the list of open source model available to run on Jan. So to download a model, you can click the download button and it will be automatically downloaded. To reinitiate the model, go to the model which you downloaded and click the use button. There you can see all the settings on the right hand side. You can change based on needs. Now I'm going to start chat with the model which you have downloaded, that is Mistral. I'm just going to ask, create a meal plan for me today and then click enter. And here is the meal plan getting generated for lunch, afternoon snack, dinner and dessert. If you want to use any open AI models such as GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 Turbo, you can also do that. Create a new thread and you can get the settings panel by clicking this icon at the top. Then you can choose the model from the drop down here. I can choose GPT 3.5 Turbo and enter my API key here and start having the conversation with the GPT 3.5 model. Here I'm going to ask what is your base model and here is the response. You can see the CPU and the memory usage. Similarly on the monitoring icon, you should be able to see the same. Now we're going to see how we can use the API. So in the settings tab, in the advanced settings, I'm going to enable the experimental mode and enable API server on. These are new features. So you might need to download the latest version directly from GitHub as of now. Probably in the next month or so, you should be able to use it directly. Once after enabling the API, now we're going to integrate the API in our Python application. First import requests, then import JSON. Then this is the endpoint. The port number is 1337. That's where the Jan AI endpoint is running. You can replace this endpoint with any of your application. Imagine you want to integrate this with Autogen or MemGPT, Autogen UI, or even TaskViewer and run any open source large language model locally. Next, we are going to add headers, just the application JSON. Then we are going to add the payload. Payload, we are going to inform the system message, you are a helpful assistant, and the user message, give me a meal plan for today, and all other metrics required. I'm going to make the streaming as false and the model name is Mistral Instruct 7B Quantized 4. Next, I'm going to make a request, which is a post request with the URL, headers and the data. Next, I'm going to extract the value and finally printing out the result. That's it. Just using the URL, headers and payload and then posting it in the request and we are getting the results. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. This will automatically generate a meal plan by talking to the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. So here it is. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack and dinner. That's it. Now you are ready to integrate this endpoint with any of your open source application. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.